Hi everybody, this is Michael from Portent.com. I wanted to step through configuring the perfect dashboard in Google Analytics. In the blog post above, there are two links. One to a um, lead gen perfect dashboard and one to a revenue perfect dashboard. And both of those both of those roughly cover the same thing, um, but obviously the lead gen one can be tailored to specific goals for your site um, that are configured in analytics, whereas the revenue one, all you need to configure is the non-branded keywords piece. Uh, for portent.com and for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use the, the lead gen one. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the link that was in the blog post and paste it. Analytics. And you'll get a dashboard configuration screen like this. Go ahead and just choose the profile that you want to apply it to. In this case, I'm going to go to portent.com and hit create dashboard. And voila, you've got um, your basic dashboard configuration where the top three widgets are going to need to be adjusted to um, whatever goals that you see fit for your site. So in this case, um, we have all goal completions by default. But um, right now we're going through a big push to get people to sign up for our monthly webinars. Um, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just change this from all goal completions to a webinar sign-up goal. And then I can go ahead and just adapt the widget title to match that. So I'm going to webinar sign-up. And hit save. Uh, you want to do the same thing with the timeline here and change it from all goal completions to the webinar goal. So we add visits and webinar signups. And then hit save there as well. And the last piece of configuration that you'll need for the lead generation dashboard is over here on top non-branded keywords. I have a regular expression set up where you can enter three different variations of your brand names or product names that you want excluded from this non-branded keyword list. Um, in our case, we're going to want to exclude Portent. The older version of our company name, Portent Interactive. And then also, um, Ian, our CEO, gets a lot of hits on his name, so I'm going to go ahead and exclude that from the list as well. And just clean up my widget title. Hit save. And there you go. You have this um, you know, configured to just show your non branded queries. Um, if you wanted to go back in and add more variations of your brand, all you have to do is separate them using pipes and having no spaces. So if I wanted to exclude um, my name from the, from the list as well, I can go ahead and do that and just hit save and it would update as well. So feel free to add as many um, branded exclusions as you need to. So to get good coverage there. And then additionally, this is also set up to look at all goal completions. You can change that to a specific goal as well, so the webinar sign up. And I'll hit save. And then this dashboard is good to go. Um, you can do time comparisons. Um, you can swap out some of these metrics, but this is just a great starting point to work from.